I'm Brian Kwan, I represent Tier Time Corporation, and we make the UP brand of 3D printers. Well, we're excited to announce our brand new second generation UP Mini, which is a follow-up to our uh, UP Mini, which has been very well received by the community. Uh, it's meant for everyone, it's low cost, and it's very simple to use. Our second generation uh, follows the original, and that is enclosed, it's fully heated build platform. It prints in ABS, and PLA, and PET. As well, it has a, uh, a full uh, connectivity uh, via USB. New to the second generation is a brand new enclosure design that includes an integrated aluminum handle that drops down into the body when you're not using it. It also has a full HEPA uh, filter system so that when you run a long print with the doors closed, you'll come back to an orderless environment, which is great for classrooms and home. We also have uh, auto leveling on the new UP Mini, as well as auto nozzle height adjustment, which are great new features. And it also, the big announcement is a, a brand new LCD control panel on the unit that allows untethered printing, as well as Wi-Fi connectivity. Um, that one's really important for us because in the classroom, you want uh, the students to be able to submit their jobs wirelessly to the onboard memory and the teacher can queue through on the LCD panel to print out each student's um, project. It really uh, liberates the printer from uh, individual computers, which is great for a, a group environment. So along with that, we've introduced a really novel um, side companion to the UP Mini 2, which takes uh, the filament and removes it from the printer. So um, the idea is that uh, a classroom could put different types of filament in each, in multiple versions of the holder, uh, colors, types, and the students could uh, take them out from the, the, the main area and use them on the printer and, and return them so that another student can use that plastic at another time. I think that the, the, the format of the, of the printer, the technology on the desktop is really important, especially in home and classroom environments. Uh, we spent a lot of time designing the enclosure so that it feels comfortable, it fits well into a a group um, uh, environment. We understand that in the early days of 3D printing, the professionals were our main market because they had this technology at work and they wanted a, a cheaper version to, to use at home. And then there's the, the middle generation, which really doesn't have that much of a need for 3D, but uh, kids 16 and under in the United States are all starting to learn CAD, CAM, a creation on a computer, which is giving them, empowering them to make 3D objects for the first time and of course there's a need for them to print these out so we're looking at a whole new generation of STEM enabled kids who will benefit from 3D printing enormously so we see that as a, a huge wave of demand coming we've actually introduced two units that are working uh, they're working on um, units that are able to print at this show so it's about a three month um, second phase development um, cycle that we'll go through to make sure that it's running and keeping uh, to the tier time standards for usability and ease of use. And then we'll be releasing it maybe in April or May this 2016.